What is up my crazy subscriber, this is Joe King John 4 and hopefully you guys are having a great day today. Today people, I'll be talking about the season pass for Ghost Recon Wildlands. If you guys missed out on the trailer, make sure you check out the Ubisoft YouTube channel. If not, check out the PlayStation channel. Both trailers came out on these channels and I'm telling you the trailer does show you a lot of good stuff about the season pass. So let's start off first with Narco Road. Narco Road provides you with new vehicles, new camos, and anything you want for customization. They're going to be adding more stuff to your character. Character. And also, they're going to be adding a new mission where you can be able to join a narco gang so you can destroy it from within. So what you got to do is pretty much join a narco gang and then also climb the ranks. It's kind of like, uh, it's kind of similar to Most Wanted. Like, if you guys ever, ever played like Need for Speed Most Wanted and you're in the blacklist, you got to climb the ranks in order for you to fight the boss, right? I'm pretty sure it's kind of similar to that. So it's going to be quite interesting how this is going to work. For sure it's going to be like maybe like a two hours and more into the game. Maybe it could be that, but who knows. All we got people is just that we got to climb the ranks in order for us to fight the boss and find out who it is. And by the way, there is a cutscene where your character is laying next to a pool. So I believe that's when you're finally almost getting into the top rank and uh, you should be able to find who the boss is of that narco gang. And also they give you a monster, uh, a monster truck, which is kind of be awesome to drive around to be honest. I cannot wait to run out, you know, run over random pedestrians out there and also push out like, you know, trucks off the cliff. It's going to be funny to do that. So anyways, that's the first one. Moving on to the second DLC, which is going to be Fallen Ghost. Fallen Ghost is about rescuing your teammates. You're going to be in a helicopter crash. It's going to crash down in the middle of the woods. And then also you're going to be in danger at the same time because you got to face very dangerous soldiers out there in the middle of the woods and it's gonna be quite difficult to sneak around so you gotta be very tactical in order for you to survive because if you're not very tactical at all you're running out there like it's GTA 5 or Call of Duty you're just gonna die real quick which is the biggest problem that this game community really has everybody thinks it's GTA 5 when in reality if you don't move tactical, you don't move like in a stealthy way, you're pretty much screwed. So hopefully you guys get good teammates in order for you to succeed on the second DLC. So to be honest guys, I believe the first one's a lot better than the second one, because the second one is just a single mission. The first one seems to be like it's like a two hour thing or a three hour thing to pull off. So it's going to be interesting to see the first one go down, which is the Narco Road. The Fallen Ghost is going to be, you know, quite interesting how you can pull off a tactical mission. So. Uh, that's my opinion about the season pass people. What do you guys think about the season pass? Is it good? Is it bad? And another thing I want to say yeah, that yes, it kind of looks like it's la like a last minute cut out of the game. It could have been the game, but for sure they got to make some, some, some kind of money somehow. So that's why they put it as DLC. I do admit that. So, so people can't think like, oh, Joe is sponsored by Ubisoft. Like, no people, I'm not being sponsored by anybody. That is it, people. That's all I want to talk about today. Leave me your opinions about this situation. Do you guys like the season pass or not? If you guys are you know, want to know something else about Ghost Recons, guys, let me know in the comment section. I'll be uploading some more. So I'll see you guys later and subscribe for more Ghost Recon.